Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here and Terry Crews here. This is NHL and NBA double header of the game of tonight. So this time we're going to start off with NHL first for the first game before we wrap things up here for the final game at 10.30 p.m. later tonight. This one will be the first one as the Avalanche face on against the Winnipeg Jets. Avalanche have made their win on their home in Mile High, feeding against the Jets a 6-4 score. This was not even a close one that everyone has been going through. But this time, we have a lot of them that are going to take in all for everything. This will be a win or go home for the Winnipeg, sorry, the Colorado Avalanche. And we'll find out if they win or not. This is it. The last one will do so. And this one will be it. If they don't win, then the Winnipeg Jets will be moving on to the next round to face against the Dallas Stars at American Airlines Center. Now it's for the next commentary I'll have is Paintbrush along with OJ. And the third commentary of the crew is Silver Spoon again. And he's back. Yes, that's right. Wood Spoonie is going to be the center ice for today's game in between his zones. And now, let's get you back down to Canada's Life Century. And we are ready for game six. Are you ready? It's time for the take on for the Canadian vs. USA team since the regular season of the game. Off we go. It's that time, game six, back in Winnipeg of Canada's Life Century, and we are ready to see who can win. It's that time, folks. OJ here along with Paintbrush, and I am here as also Paintbrush is now. Obviously, I have a commentary, and also I'm with OJ. We're ready to have that battle. Are you ready for the game six? It's that time. We start things over. Hell of a makes the first save of the night, and you'll have to take over it with under the start of the second of the game. Here's the call for Witz 30. Nightmare McKinnon has an unstoppable force that has it in between the range. He does have it all with his concentration. Carter Hurdleback is one of a dialed in on his better performing of his angle. His saving technique is always the big and challenging and his effort takes for all the skills that takes him for every class. I'll be flying out those two right in between the two of Connor Hurdleback and Nathan McKinnon. Back to you. Here's another shot big on the rebound has been stopped here. And Toes will have it again to Rantanen. Rantanen fires across the air and down along the boards. Winnipeg Jets are back in the offensive zone as Connor will have the puck. Toward the inbound. Lickerton takes a puck steal. And now with the pass, broken up. Rantanen's got the puck back. Try to cut inbound. Knock the puck loose as Connor Hellebuck will try to keep it up. And I follow trying to battle it along. New line group substitution. Ellers trying to pull it in. Big save here on a big chain by Alexander Georgiev. You know how Alexander Georgiev does? He made this one a lot bit challenging, and he does know whatever the better angle is, he has to be uh, aggressive. Taking in from between is just not always easy. When you have a right timing to do one, it's a big take and bound. I love that Canadian and USA matchup. This is better than anybody else that does have it all. Now the pass will find it over again to O'Connor. O'Connor can't hold on with the puck. Big save on the chain. Behind the net. Bowing it up the board and Elbeck will try to hold up with the save. You know, the quick reaction does this, but it's not always easy enough. When you take some, a little bit of time pressure off, it's going to be a little challenging when you take a lot of it in between. As right now, here's Gerard. Manson blocked a shot by Nedrider. And here's Nedrider. Takes the pass. Over again to Appleton. Appleton will try to reset it over back to Dylan. Dylan goes over again to Bion. Fires the shot. No deflection here, that's stayed out of his own. Dylan now finds Pion. Shoots one, a big save by Georgiev. Moving the puck back and forth, here's Appleton. Now he's over to get to Lowry. On the shot, big old save and bound by Georgiev. Four brushes on for the Jets. 
and Appleton. Manson takes the puck zone. Who pressures off the, the Jets? And now O'Connor's turn back into the uh, Jets territory. Passes broken up. Namsakov will now find it again to Dylan. Now he finds Perfetti. Oh, big hello moment. That stays out of here. A big and bound. That pressure is going to be a hard one to take. Not anybody is good on it, but that is a big dangerous play. Uh, I have to feel like that one hit for tomorrow. May not be what you're looking at. Namsakov shot. Big on the rebound play. Big stop here by Gerard. Gerard will find it over to Daniel Johansson. And now he finds Jordan and finally Paris. For the right wing. Tries to look going forward to Johansson. Big stop on the play. Big rebound puts in. Namsakov will have that puck in. Now faces it again to Villardi. Villardi having a little bit of trouble here as O'Connor will try to give a puck back. Now trying to pull a puck pass. This one's been blocking over in traffic jam, and Stroner will have that puck in. Nearing from the corner. Now it's back the airway of Shifeli with the puck. Now finding Villardi. Fires the puck around the net. Connor right toward the center. Shoots it's blocked by Baram. By Rams got it now into the corner. Trying to get up to Rams to get a shot. Big save on the impact by Hellebuck. Will already trying to work his way across. Shot belly. Good puck steal as right now Rams and will have it over. You know, they don't have the judgment to do this one at all. You know, that big puck chain is just not turning to be easy. They really are picking it off that hard. Every time you do this one, you don't get into enough intentional work in this effort. I have a lot of it where the Jets are making a crash in. That calls danger zone. You've got to watch out with that if you're playing it on the center of the ice zone. McKenna gets swiped along the board. And now he has that puck finding Johnson. Oh, it takes the puck. He finds it to the high fella. Here's one of our Valley with a loose puck. And the puck leaves the zone. No puck will take it here. Here's I follow right toward the wing. Kicks the puck over to Morrissey. On a shot. Big on a save and bound by Georgiev. Big saucer pass. Finding I follow. DeMello will try to give it over again to Morrissey. Open up. Love save by Georgiev. 13 31 left to go in the first period. No score of the game. There are the players in between in the first half to the second half. The, the team is having a no score in between by Jets or Avalanche. Now McCarr will have it over. He tries to make a pass to Wood. Wood lost the puck. They try to run it with the rebound. You know, the claw show that happened now, that is a big hit. They're trying to make that one feel like they want some payback. Here's the Mello. Fires a shot. Big save on the inbound by the goaltender. That's what they all do. They can't let that mess up behind. The Mello now finds Morrissey. He finds Larry. Larry through the moon. Try to bring it in. And a big stop puts up by the goaltender. Now he finds it over. The play's still going. Gets it off to Appleton. Appleton trying to hand it over now back to DeMello. He finds Morrissey. Shoots! Club save by Georgiev. And Toes will have it the other way. Pull pressure's off and Toes will have it here. Blitz it up in the zone. Nick Ryder's got the puck. It's Winnipeg or back in the offensive zone. Big hit on a collision. Here's Appleton. 2 1. Oh, a bit close on the call. This one stayed out. McCarr over to Maurice, and now Droney will have it. Slides across as Nasikov will have it again in Demello. Deep pass to Burl. Baron fires along the net. And a broken play. Schmidt will rebound the puck, and now finding Sandberg, fighting again to Nasikov. Pulling the puck in. And his own, he goes offside. 11.33 left to go in the first period. No score today. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still no score in the game in between the Jets or Avalanche. Now the win puts in for Manson. Manson off to Lekkonen. Here's a chance for Lekkonen. Oh, it takes the puck. Fires the puck around the net. Trying to get the puck out of here. McKinnon. Oh, it takes the puck. Listen over again to Monahan. And here's Smith over down to Sandberg. The shot one back in the rebound is 
stop there by the goaltender. Here's Schmid, we'll try to give it over again to Monaheim. And a relay penalty call, that's going to be on the slashing for Colorado. Now this is what they hope this happened. Here comes the power play, they're going to start things off. Power play comes on for the Winnipeg Jets. With the no score in between, we are in a midway market period. Avalanche will win the faceoff as Manson will try to dump the puck out. Now Velarde will have to take it over again. Now Hansen now finding Cogliano. And Gerard with the puck. Towards the board, finding Cogliano. First round, big save by Hellebuck. And now finding again to Perfetti. Looks it over again to Velarde. Velarde try to move it around. Move the puck in back and forth. Monaheim, move it back to Perfetti. Keep it in over again to Beyond. Beyond, foot broken up the chain. Monaheim keeps the puck alive, and now, now it's back to Scheifele. Pulls it around the net, it's Velarde. And we'll have to try to reset it up a group here. Nothing given to play. Well, they need to do some a lot about timing, and they need to do something else here. They can't leave that puck in his own. Oh, the screen! Big save on the inbound by Georgiev. Perfetti now finding over to Monaheim. Monaheim will try to leave it alone and now find Pion. How about can? Big to take! That would stay out of his own, and this one keeps it out. 30 seconds for the Jets power play. Racing for the puck in his zone. Manson has that puck. Fires it out for the net. And Pion will now find it again to Perfetti. Perfetti over to Velarde. Here's a chance! Looks like his time is almost about to expire. Backhander way up wide! And Toes will keep the puck out of here. That's the end of the power play for the Jets. 0-1 for Game 6. Yeah, this is what they don't really play for. They're losing the offensive range. They can't let that be playful in the mind. This is a broken play. They don't want that one to be left out by themselves. But they no room, they gotta make sure they have more room to keep it out of here. After a big save by the goaltender, here's O'Connor. O'Connor now finds it over again to Cavarante. Dumps the puck in the zone. That's now he'll have it the other angle as the Jets are trying to make a new switch off. Now finding Appleton. Here's a break play. This one's broken up as O'Connor will have it again to Colton. Pass the midway up in a period with eight minutes going by. And now over again to O'Connor. Here's a chance! Oh, one shot! And off the deflection here, and O'Connor tries to get a puck. Broken up the play! Here's Johnson, trying to fuck it in there! That's off the helmet of Billabuck! And now back again to Appleton. You know, an easy one makes it say this was almost deflected in there, but that doesn't happen. Oh, big trouble takedown by Dylan and said, I had enough. Oh, there is no way you're going to stop that play going down. If you're going to keep it in there, do I ever mind? I would say so. And by Ram gives it over to again to McKinney. Good broken play here as DeMello grabs it up with the poke check. DeMello trying to hold on with the puck. Now over again to Barron. Moves again to Perfetti. Here's Morrissey. With a chance! Big club save by Georgiev. 6.37 left to go in the first period. No score to game. Now they're ready to do it our face off. Still no score to game for the Jets and the Avalanche. And McKinnon wins the draw. Here's Toes. He will have it again to Rantanen. Spins around. Loses the puck in range as now DeMello will have it over. Clears the puck out. And we'll have to let it off to go with the icing on the Jets. And they win again. Try to put up a stop. Look at it. Oh, Bob saved by Hellebuck. A big chance to have that score start an early lead for one nothing. Well, you know about what's going to be a close call. Nobody had that one with a go-ahead goal. 
They are really are trying to make that one effortless, but they did not want to make this appearance a bit longer than I expected. They need somebody to cover him by. And the will try to hold up one with the pepper hellebuck. Just nearing down five minutes. Now McKinnon wins again. Here's Toast. Good puck steal by Namstikov. Tries to push it out of way. Perfetti comes in to help the puck recovery. Barron's in the corner now trying over to pass off to Morrissey. Open the look and try to put a rebound in there. That went wide. Kicks the puck out of here to Monaheim. Trying to keep it out of here. Puck stolen. Kick the puck out. Which is out of the zone, and now Morrissey will have it again to Ellers. Ellers now for Eddie Monahan. Keep it over to Perfetti. Here's a chance, and no broken up of the play here. And Paris will have it. Big crush down on the board. And Sandberg will have it over on the other side of the ring. Past the five minute mark. Here's a chance for I Fellow. And a look to the meta for a shot. Big save by Georgiev. Hold that puck here with under five minutes left. No score. Remember guys, we have that one coming in right now. It's July 17th and the 18th will be the open pick here for a new season of the NHL 25 and NBA 2K25 for season nine. If you want to have your chance here, this will be open up for you so you can pick which team you want to go for. It doesn't matter which one it is. Neither an Eastern Conference's matchup or the Western Conference matchup or both in between the Eastern and Western Conference matchups. It might be one of them in between, but you will find out what will this be. And this one is now back to Gerard again to O'Connor. O'Connor took the pass to Gerard. Now finds a pass. Filardi broke in at the play. And it's Sandberg right around the net. Finds Filardi in the middle, broken up the play. Now back to Colton. Four minutes left in the first period. O'Connor trying to race it inbound. Pulls it out of the way as Connor will have it. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, here he goes. He's ready to take on. He's going to fight for it. Uh-oh, I don't like this call now because he gets Connor. Kyle Connor, he's just saying, hey, what's up with you? That would be just Colton. He made that with a lot of dirty play. That is a bigger offense. He's not trying to let him get in there. But that... You have to be a little bit in tough and grabble. I never like this cup. This is going to take a lot of time and you're never going to like it. And play is over. Malardi went down as Colin has that one regaining the energy. Now here's the problem with that. Malardi was trying to answer it in there and this is not turning out really well. He's trying to come up and say, what's up with you? You're trying to hit my player down? That's like a bit of not necessary with the call. Both teams have a five minute penalty box. As right now, this one is with only 347 left to go. Gabe Velarde and Colton are in a penalty box. And with the shot, trying to pull up the play. And Pionk will have it now over to get it to Dryder. He finds over again to Lowry. Lowry will fire the puck around the net. This Appleton will have it over in the center. Fine still it! Hope it long! Plus save by Georgiev. 321 left to go as Georgiev's gonna hold it with the puck. As for another face-off comes on. And now we're ready for another face-off. Still the range in between the site. No goal. And with the win off, here's Manson. And on to Gerard. Gerard, open look again. He finds O'Connor. Watching him play, here's Gerard. Over oh, look! Saved by Hellebuck! And back to Bianca again. That's a great chance here. That is like a, a bigger playable, and that's when you make a save. That comeback in terrific one place is not easy enough you can get for. Care for anybody? I know Hellebuck will take. Bianca finds Monaheim. Monaheim gives it over. Here's the other. Oh, my God! He scores! That rider starts off with a quick tipper in game six. They all want to make some noise here. Nick Ryder, what do you got here? Now here's a look over 
here. When you get off the pier, here's the driver. He's right into the center of this, of this waiting, trying to put a screen and watch that play. Here's your age. The driver tips and scores. That's great play uh, for the Winnipeg Jets to start things off for 1-0. And now easy to say on this one, is this put in for Piot? He wants to have a good looking looking rebound. Try to get it in for Dylan. And away we'll put up for the Chess. Open look! Leopard and try to get it over, and Monahan will have to pass over to Ellers. Ellers firing around the deck. And I fell will give it over to Danella. Morrissey gets it, I fell. Smooth the move! Score now! Stop the game at your again. And now he finds Manson. Give it over to Rantanen. With two minutes going by in the first period. Here's again to Rantanen. And a can shot. Glad pad up here by Helmut. I follow. Racing down towards the outer side of the zone. In the Avs territory. Others will try to give over to Demelo. James the Cobb now finds Morrissey. Now he tries to pick a pickoff moment. Finds a pass. Demelo got to Mance the Cobb. In toward corner about find Demelo again to Morrissey. Cheers! The save by Gerald Yen. Final, there is a final minute in the first period. Winnipeg has an answer with a big tip on 1 0. And away we'll put him for the avalanche. Here's Manson. That's the puck to work. Takes a big hit. Unbelievable. They don't want that call. I mean, they, they never really want that one to make a big hit. That's like calling a body checking or chest, chest, uh, chest check. That's a big one. That's going to hurt. On their final minute remaining in the first period, she only makes another save. 47.3 seconds left to go in the first period. Where the back still up ahead. And away we'll put in for Avalanche. Colorado finds Johansson, now finds Wood. Wood trying to answer his way down. Nearing the puck play. Beyond trying to hold on with him. And O'Connor will try to get over to the car. Moves inside. Held up with a save. And Beyond will have it over in the other side of the ring, now finding Appleton. Appleton fires around the net. And Lowry will have it over. Put him out there. Big save about my Jogiev. O'Connor trying to put the team in there. Hope the play. And that will end the first period. One goes to start. Big temper on the trainer. We'll be right back with the second period after this. Hey y'all, we're ready for the second period. Underway in Winnipeg. And here we go. We're off to start in the second period. Ready to go. All right, let's have your takes in between you guys for the first period recap. They really have been doing it, crushing it out. They have that one with a great look. This offense is not putting up a lot of pressure in sight. I really like that there's a great tipper inbound for in between the zones of the driver and Dylan giving off the pass quickly. You know, that's a great play, and I really love that one to have it in there with a great look. Yeah, same thing with that. They yeah, do have an answer. A little bit of battle bully in between here for those two. Between the Chets and the Avalanche for sure. Perhaps they're not the rivals in there for a moment, unfortunately. You're going to have to just wait until they keep playing longer. If the rival puts it in, continuing that long. Well, it might be one way. I mean, you may never know. Uh-huh. You may never guess it, but it goes in. McCann and stop by Hallibuck. For the start of the second period, it's still one up thing for Winnipeg. If you're tuning us here, ready for Game 7, we've got the Rangers versus the Bolts back at the Garden. This will be a win to get in to the second round to face against the winning team of the Carolina Hurricanes. They're waiting for the other team to get rebel in there, and right now we have another look. It's in between the great zones by New York Rangers or the Bolts. There might be one chance out there that gives an upset range in a wild card moving on to face on against the first, second seed team. Well, there might be one. I mean, I'm guessing, I'm guessing there might be a great game out there. But hopefully, there might be one problem though. They gotta keep scoring in big because they don't have the right to do so. They need to have that one switch off. 
And now finding Dylan, who's he getting to Pionk? Keeps the puck alive, and now finding again to Scheifele. Shoots one! That chopped it off by Toast, and now it's McKinnon with the puck. Keeps the puck in the line. Hard! Toward the center! Broken up the play as like Lene will have it. Now he's off to McKinnon. Colorado back in the offensive zone in the wing. Dylan reaches over and now finding Appleton. Wow, big hit here! They try to try to have it open. Look, look to Lowry. And here's a look finding Beyond. Fires a shot! Chopper stop made by Gilgit! Big shot! For Fetty! Didn't hold on to that back well. And try to pull it back the other way, and that finds Barron. Barron gives it over again to Beyond. Here's Beyond. Through the middle! And can't hold on to that one. Johnson has that puck, passing 17 minute mark in the second period. Tries to look it open. Poked it out by the goaltender. Perfetti's got that puck. Now finds it again to Nemstikov. Over now to Barron. Barron wants to give it to Nemstikov's shot. Puck saved by Georgiev. In the corner now finding again to Manson. O'Connor gives it over again to Johansson. Finds a pass to Kriverante. Big save on the inbound by the goaltender. That's just going to keep on coming right now. I mean, you got to make sure you have it in there. Here's a chance right now. Block the stop made here by Georgiev. Another big save of the night. Here's Johansson. Oh, big takedown here by Jack's physical fight. Let's get physical, he said. Uh, don't let me mention already. They really are making this one a hard chance out there. With the big rebound, he's out. Shoots! Score! Big wraparound! That brings the team up by two! Now watch that play in there. Mark Ellis, he was trying to have that one in there. That wraparound is playing a nice bank slant to making the puck in. You know he's making it snappy? He makes that one in there, make it clear. He said that one snap you, got you back. The Jets extend their lead. It's now a 2 0 game in Winnipeg. And now the wing puts him in higher skills for the Jets. Morrissey tries to answer that one back, and now he finds it over to Illardi. He's out of the penalty box right now, and DeMello will try to give it over. DeMello tries to give it again. Now find Illardi. Flings it around the net. And here's Connor trying to give it over. Hold the stop made here. Malorny trying to do it with the shot, but this one is blocked out. You know, I mean, if he's going to get blocked right now, I mean, that's going to be a bigger problem. Big save on the play here by Hellebuck. You know how tough it is easy? Eller is making this one clean that far. Making this one a lot of tight runs in the game. And I feel like Ellers will have another chance if he gets another goal for two. A lot of time left in this period. We still haven't made the big, big way mark of the period to O's the score. Now the win puts in by Ramshot. Almost stepped it in as Hellebuck tries to hold on. Under 15 minutes to go. Now they're off to do the one again. And the win will put it in for the Colorado Avalanche. Great crash down, big save on the play, big stop by Hellebuck. Oh, the fans are disagreeing on the Avalanche right now, I mean, but they really love Hellebuck. He made a great save. You know, an easy way to say is, Hellebuck got it all done. Just make the piece out of it, go in the head. And coming down, oh, he made a great save. Hellebuck tries to hold the piece, says, not this time. You know, how could that be a thing? Hellebuck made up with a lot of hard save. This one's trying to be a little close call. And now you don't have to mention it in between, but that is what you try to get in there. Try to make a comeback in earlier rage. You don't want to mess this one up. If you do, don't have that right choice, they're going to get that goal in. And now the win will put in for Hellebuck. Hellebuck shot, saved off. Dylan passes off to Appleton. And now with the big puck firing. Icing whistled on with the bed checks. Tired defensive here, and we're nearing now the 14 minute mark. Now the range play puts in for Pionk, now finds it over to Dylan. 
Lost that puck right now, and it's back over again to Wood. Watching that play to try to cut the pitch, choppy puck off. Big and big. Oh, Hellebuck. Unbelievable. But he was too late. Logan O'Connor takes the goal. They're now on the board. When Connor was right behind him, he took out with a big look. There's no play and there's no help. They just never realized that the back end of it in there. And that's what the Logan O'Connor just made up and in. He tried to put their team up by one, and that's his scouts going to get. They start things off in the second period. Beautiful play for Logan O'Connor. They are now on the board, 2-1 game. And with the win, here's McKinnon. But Ramble gets it over again to Leckerman, and now he finds McKinnon. Sure! Good cross shot by Dylan, and he will stop that play. And McKinnon off to Johnson. Almost took it in there. Big save by Hellebuck. And what a stop. Lots of time left in this period. Avalanche trail by one. 2-1 still will score. And off to win. Here's McKinnon. Piaf trying to hold it in there. Left it in. Big save on a chain by Hellebuck. As we're approaching down right now, we have a next game that's coming up, and we have another takeover here on game six. That will be the Golden Knights versus against the Oilers at T-Mobile Arena. And they will have to face against the winning team of the Canucks. In between the zones, it might be the Golden Knights or the Oilers. But I'm thinking it's going to be who? Probably the Oilers might win this game. Do you guys think this will happen? Well, I might say so. I mean, it might be what they take. I mean, let them handle it. I think the Oilers are going to go into the second round and say, who's your boss now? They're ready to go in there and defend the champion already. They've been knocking over it. Hopefully, this will stay in the put. Hopefully, they'll have to try to leave it out. And Leckard will have it in the puck zone. Good stop made here as Schmid will have it firing out. Over and out to I follow. I follow. Don't have the right to take. Alice loses the puck and Schmid can't hold it on. Byram gives it over to Gannon Johnson. Now finds a cutter. Seeking from the center. Here's Ward. Big stop on the chain by Hilma. Dumps the puck out and now finding Byram. Here's a chance now for my ram. Spins a move. Here's a shot. Big save. For Fanny now gets back to Baroon and the Jets are back into the Axe territory. Two on one big. Big save by Georgiev. Oh, I like to call it. That was big, uh, big and bad. They were really making this one a lot challenging, but what a big pack. That played in there with a great stop here by Georgiev on a goaltender for the Avalanche. They're making this one to keep it up. That's why I just made this one in there. That's the spirit for Giovia. Morrissey now finds Velarde. In the wing. Open look for Morrissey. Sure. Look safe at Giovia. Near the midway mark of the period. Two ones where we left off. Now I have the call in between. Probably Giovia for Hellebuck. But this is going to be coming down in toward a wire to have that one soon taken that care of it. Chuck's win it. Demel shoots, blocked the shot by Paris. Paris in the three on one attack. Millardi takes the puck. Trying to go for it. Tie the game is denied by Hellebuck. Shy Kelly battling along the board. Millardi behind the net is O'Connor. And back to Millardi. Shoots! No room for error, and this one takes it out. Johansson trying to handle it over. Pumped it out as Velarde will have it over again. Now finding Morrissey. Finds the driver in turn away. Open look. Broken up the play by Toes. Lowry trying to go to get it back to get to Appleton. He finds the mellow. And now he finds again a Morrissey. Here's the driver. Tries to look for another, another deflection in. Shoots. Save a rebound. Lowry with no pickup on the rebound. They're just making this one a lot start, sturdy run. They're never going to get this one come comfortable. They need to have that one broken up the play and get right to work. After a block shot, here's Morrissey. Players around the net. And Lowry will have it over now, finally getting the Dryder. Here's Pionk. Pionk spins a move to Appleton. 
Fire in the round of net. The dryer gives to Appleton. Loses the puck chain. Here's the dryer. Tooth! Save by Tiergen! Under nine minutes remaining in the second period, Tiergen's trying to hold off the cleat. Put in for McKinnon. Gerard now finding Manson. Manson! And Bass broken up. He finds Monahan. Broke it out! It's Gerard with the puck. Back to Leckerdick. He's taken along by McKinnon. Back to Manson. Rolls it over again to Rantanen. And we'll try to get to clear the puck out. And we'll have that one reset up for the Avalanche. And here's McKinnon. McKinnon right through the way. In the middle, this went stopped by Bial. Two on two, the fast break. This time he will not get a hit. Back to Monahan, back the airway. Here's a shot for the backhand. Rebound has been knocked out. And back to Boer again to Dylan. Rolls again to Bial. I follow shoots. Glove save. Jordan with a nice defensive effort, passing the eight minute mark. Now they're ready to do it in our face off. So a lot of time left in the period, two ones where we sat. And the Jets will win the faceoff. Shoots! Big save by Georgiev! And Gerard now finding Wood. Keeps the puck out of his zone as he dumps it across. And Dylan will have it over. Now finding Beyond. Deep the pass to Shifeli. Shifeli right into the wing. Trying to fire him to the middle. Scores! Beautiful fly motion by Strike Belly and DeMello with the goal. Nice pass to Strike Belly, and that's a one time a goal. We'll have that one open. Open up. When you give up to take the tape, tape feed for Strike Belly, you give it over again to, you know, the call. Uh, DeMello, that one is taking a great shot. Other than this, not so well enough. You have to believe on that to keep on going. Now as the win puts in for the Avalanche as O'Connor will try to keep it out. Short Philly. Broken up the play by Wood. Shoots and Pat save. And now he finds again to Kyle Connor. Digs the puck out. Here's Manson. In his own entry. Manson trying to hold on with the puck. Now finding the airway for more room. Finds a pass to O'Connor. O'Connor trying to roll it in. This one's been broken up the play. Gets the puck out of here. Velarde will have a new entire group change. And Toes will have it in now. Passing a 6.30 mark. Oh, we're look. Oh, that was a little close call. Fires it in. Stop by all the way. Almost a fuck it in there. No score for the Avalanche. Still a run, but three for Winnipeg. And a win for the Avalanche. This was the fuck it off. And Jelanson will try to pick it out. Trying to get over the back of Candy scores. Whoops. What happened? There, Hellebuck. That must be a broken play. It looks like they're racing out of here. It looks like they wanted to get the over, but they couldn't find some open room in there, and that's why that Jordan grabbed that puck steal and changes over. Yeah, it's a close call now. I mean, what the call is made for, but Hellebuck didn't really think he was ready to take the pass over. That's going to be a hard time. Nobody had the right timing to get that open angle. And they really are having a little bit of a difficult situation. They really need to get somebody else with an open look. That means you don't have anybody to help them have a great look. But the pass is no hard rejections here. They need to do something else there quickly and start because they don't have anybody to look for open room. They need to get this thing moving and get back to work. Blocking the defensive traffic out there. As right now, the puck clears out and Tronin will have the puck. And here's McCarr now finds it over to get to Paris. Paris trying to enter it in. That puck stays out of his own, and now he will have it over again to Toes, and snaps it caught with the steal. Here it comes for Betty. Backing over again to Nastikov. 
Trying to reset the Sabre Smith shot, but saved by Georgiev. He denies that shot with under five minutes left. And now it's up and ready. 25 face-off wins for Colorado Avalanche, but the Morrissey team had only nine face-off wins for the Jets. Now they'll have their 10 face-off wins, and others will try to have to deflect it in there, but that one's broken it up. Leopard and try to enter in the move, but Schmidt will try to handle it over. Now the pass finds it over again to Ellers. The pass over now finds Monahan. Here's a chance, and follow, swing and a miss. Two shot, it's blocked up. Finds Schmidt, and over back to I follow. Gives it over to back to Dylan again to Schmidt. Keeps the play alive. Toes, Ellers, trying to hold the puck back. Now a new line change, he finds Larry. Here to move, Ellers! Oh, big save, that was the number one stop. They are really making this one a very pathetic effort. Maybe they don't want to have that one cleared out instead. Ah, uh, definitely need to make this one a lot tricky. This one can't be stopped. Here's Larry, shoots! Can't hold on with the players, Bianca, that one stopped. As the number one goes off by Juliet, and Dryer now finding Bianca. Under 3-3 left to go, here's the Dreider. The Dreider, choose! Conquer stop me! Big rebound chain! Appleton didn't know the puck was going to take it in, but O'Connor grabs it. Block the pass over to dump it out, and now they will have to dump the puck in into the Avs territory. The Avs are back in the offense as Gerard will now have their team up in advantage. And it's broken up. Kyle Connor with the puck. Taking his time effort now, finding an open room again to Pion. Shoots it! Save off again by Georgiev. And our play man, Willie! But this one's denied by Georgiev. Oh, this one's never easy enough. But Lonnie had a great open look at the goaltender got him. And now they're off and waiting to do it again. Near down the end of the second period, 3 2 to score. Now to win. Here's Lonnie! Blocking up the shot made by Georgiev. Coin trying to hit it off. And now back the other way is the Jets. Here's a play. Score! Kyle O'Connor does it again. It's the lead up 4 2. Villani does this one again, and now with the puck play. You know what? What's a great connection in there? That takes it over to Kyle Connor. Dumped the puck into the net. Had that one scoring in big time. They are really on fire right now because Kyle Connor is really doing a better percentage. Had that one one time to in after Villani, you made that one a little good open look on the call. This one is keeping the plays in and under. I love that player by Bounding. That's when you give it off to a great shot off to Kyle Connor for the captain. This really needs to give this one a good look. Uh, for two, this one's stumped up. And here's Joe Hansen. Off again to Paris. Paris swings around. The Mallet traps that puck seal now. More C will have it over, passing a 90 second mark in the second. The Jets are back in the offensive zone. He will give it off to Nimstikov. In the center. Broken up the play. Jorgensen gives it back to Paris. Paris shoots one. That's blocked up. And Jamela will have it over. One minute remaining in the second period. Another chip shot around again to Maroon. Fires for fate. Now finds Maroon. Fires a shot. Too many bodies in the way. As Leopardin will have it back. Here's the cutting motion as Maroon will have it over now back to Schmidt. He rolls into the offensive zone. Mona, give it to Ellers. Oh man, that's a big save by Georgiev. What a great take. I don't know what happened to DeMello. It seemed like he was like okay, but I don't think he was going to get deflected. He broke his rib already. Had to get in the bench for recovery. And right now, we are ready to make some noise in here and down the end of a second period. 
so for today. And away we'll play for McKinnon and Toes will have it back. 20 seconds on the mark, he finds Rantanen. Rantanen dumps it up into the uh, Jets territory. And Sandberg off to Monahan. He finds a big pass. I follow, can't hold on. And Toes will clear it out. Oh, and that power play wants to handle it up, boy. So they have to start in the third period when we come back after the break. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. 4 2 is the score. Keep you right here, get you some a little snack, get some little water to drink, and get back in the action. Well, we're about to wrap things up in game six, and this is where it comes down to this. Hope you're having fun with us as two periods have been complete, but this is the final period of regulation. Now I have another take over you guys. Let's see how this one comes in for the second period of the recap. They've done really hard of their better transition to making this one a lot quicker. But you know the hard part about it? They've been really trying to pick up his own rebound. But the Avalanche with the chance right now, they have their goals already. But I like that the IFL have made this one with the goal, and this is what happened with the, with the moment. They make this one a great play. After Kyle Kleiner trying to put a rock around in there, he tries to pull up the beat against the Georgia. That was a little bit of a pressure. But they maintain a little bit of harder at that point. They're making this one a lot changeable that they need. And this is not what they all expected because now at that point, they really have to work its way up. With the power play still resumes, here's Leckerdan. Lost that puck to Sandberg, we'll try to keep the puck out of here. McKenna back to Dronin. And here's Dronin, we'll have it over. Nazikov went down. Ballard on the puck zone. Appleton, where a take. Where a short handed goal. Nazikov gives again to Sandberg. And here's a chance to see. Oh, this would say it out. What a play here by Georgia. You know what happened with the error in the last game? This is what happens now that. That the Bolts had that one with the game, and this one tied it up, and that was pretty uh, pretty aggressive now. They're making this one a lot harder. And the puck will clear his own out. The power play's over for Avalanche 0-1 at the period. Now they were always expecting, because that playable was the end of a second. A little bit shocking on moment out there. I don't know what's going on. They really are trying to make this one clear, but they can't let that one happen. They are trying to let that one get in there as soon as they can. I don't know what's going on, but they gotta get this one moving. And Ranton will have that puck. Slides it across. Here's McCarr. Trying to give it over to Dronin. And here's Leckerman. A chance for a one. No, this one's out of here. Here's Perfetti. He will now have it over again to Monahan. Find the puck to Eller. Shoots it. Well saved by Jurgen. 17 0 going left to go in the third period. Still a 4 2 game. And off they're ready to do it again. NBA is coming in right now, so that will be the next game that's pressuring in there for game number six. That will be the next part of it for the, for the first part of the game five in the Eastern Conference. That will be the Celtics versus against the Sixers for the first game. Then the second game that will happen here to go with it in between the zones as we've got the Bucks taking on against. The Heat for tonight's game. And finally, for a later game, we have a cross back to NHL for 10.30 at night. Golden State Golden Knights against the other team of the Oilers at T-Mobile Arena. NBA is underway, and in a couple games will be underway as we have another team, as this will be a sneak peek look for the Mavericks against the Nuggets and Mile High. That'll be your next game underway here, underway after the first round completion. Here's Piotr now finding it again to Velarde. Velarde takes a tumble twist down. Another hit puts it up by the Avalanche. It's now a car. We'll have it send it over again to Colton. For one, stop by Hellebuck. He's going to have that whistle here with only 15.44 left to go in the third. Now Fisher's again set ready for another faceoff. Still a 4-2 game. Another win will put it in for the Jets as Morrissey will give it again to Ellers. Ellers in a breakaway train! Oh, big save on the inbound by Ellers. 
by Georgiev, and that's another big stop on Avalanche. They'd have to believe on that. They have to score a little bit harder to get this one straight away. They can't let that pressure out. And here's Colin. Sliding around, dumps the puck out. And Monaheim will have it again to Ellers. 15 minutes remaining in the third period. Now we'll send it over to I follow. Here's a chance to play in the ball and stop by Julia. Cagliano tries to puck it in. Slides it across down by Manson. Manson lost that puck and now he moves it over again and back to Monaghan. Here's a chance here for Monaghan. Back to I follow and now Brunson and Ellers to shoot one. And in battle, this one's stopped by Julia. Kevorante with the puck, lifts it up in the end. The Czechs are back in the offensive zone as Winnipeg having a more room and Monaghan adds it over now to Appleton. Here we see zone, backhander has been denied by the defensive players and this one keeps it out. Well he was going to try to do the backhand for Appleton and he had his first goal in the playoffs. That didn't seem to care. He had to make sure he had that one right timing but that was too loose. Sandberg with the puck now finding Appleton off to Lowry. Toward the middle, bumps up the play. Lowry trying to handle it over. Now puck in his own, this one is no way out. And Appleton trying to grab in a hurry. They try to shut that puck. Now is it over again, the pass by the Schmidt. Shoots it blocked up by McKinnon. Here's Wade today. And only just only 13, 13 left to go in the, in the third period. He will try to give it off to Byram. Byram trying to handle it over. Now find Lundqvist. Attempt to shoot. Saved by Golubek. Shot the play with only 12.55 left to go in the third. We're nearing the midway mark of the period. 4 2 to score. And off to win another face off as PO. We'll have it again to Villardi. Bellardi's right toward the corner, will fire it around the net, as Connor will try to take it out. Now here's for Reese with the puck. Rolling in between. Fighting for the puck rebound. This one stays out of the net and it goes right back in the ass territory. Great puck and play right now, they're really working it off. That's a bigger, incredible moment out there. They're trying to make this one a lot harder than they can. Shai Fowley got bumped up by Byram, but holds on the puck. The pass is broken up. Morrissey will have to try to clear the puck out of here. And now, he will have to give it over now and give it again to Morrissey. He knows her again to Villardi and now finds Connor over again to Beon. Here comes Kyle Connor. Through run away. That is off the rejection and goes back again to Jorgensen. And Johnson will have it back over. Fire the puck out. Here's Morrissey with the puck. Over and out to Lardy. Holds on again to Baroon. Baroon, Nesikov pass is broken up by Byram. Baris is stunned up for the board near the bench. Beyond finding again in Nesikov. Here's a chance now for Fetty. Johnson's got the puck and now about the other way. Trying to find an answer, Boom. On his way down. Broken it up. Here's Wood. Byram shoots it. Gloved up a save by Hellebuck. Oh, big hit by Sandberg. They're just going to have to like pay it out of here. They wanted some revenge out there. They wanted to get some goals. But are you going to play with that for real? I don't know if they are. <laughs> they really want some revenge out there. Get it away from it. How about makes a save? They're in the midway mark of the period. Still 4-2 game, Winnipeg. So a lot of time left in this period. Avalanche are trying to get back into work to try to stop their lead as the Jets are still up on the up on the two-point lead. And Schmidt will have it again to Sandberg, now finding again to Ellers. The pass off to I follow. I follow will try to get it over. This one stayed out. Sandberg's got it out, now find again to Monahan. Monahan in the middle of the middle. This one stopped by Georgiev. Toe scrabble along the puck board. McCarr's got it now. Now find it again to Logan O'Connor. In the zone, finding McKenna. Shoots it! Big save by Hellebuck. 
And Ellis with the puck now trying to hold it on and fight it around the net. Here's Ifrella with the chance. Passing to Monahan has broken up the chain. Lucking it back to Wayne today. Shoots it. Locked it up as Monahan will now have it again to Ellis. He's a deep pass. This one can't afford it. Trying to give off the toes again to McCarr. McCarr off to Lekrede. Lekrede can't hold on with that shot. And Dylan will have to fire the puck around the net to the driver. Off now to Dylan. And it goes offside. Under nine minutes left to remain in the third period. Like they're playing really well. I mean, they've just done a lot of timing again. They all that happens with the hits, it's going to take a lot of brutal, painful on them after trying to let them have it, have it happen. They're making this one a little bit harder, challenging, and they need to do some of that was quick. On a shot, one time or denied by Georgia. Oh, that's a look here, but that just hit the power off. Gogliano was trying to help him and said, hold on, you got to get through it. Try to Shot, but it's stopped again by Georgiev. Dylan trying to pull it back to Bellardi and now finding it again to Young. He now has it again to Dylan. Trying to give it off to Young. Young to the back end. Not enough to get there. 8 1 left to remain in the third period. Lots of time left. Jets are leave up by two while the Avalanche trail by two. And then we will put it in on a backhander, not enough to get there. Camarante lost the puck. Here's like Billy. This one is off and it's another deflection around the wall. They're just not getting it over here. I mean, I don't know what's going on. I mean, they got to get this one puck out of here straight. They have nowhere to go. I mean, they, that's it. They got to find something else. Kyle Connor trying to race toward the puck. Slows it down. Oh, big hit here. And this one takes it over. Kyle Connor trying to give it again to Schmidt. Sandberg off to Malardi. Can't hold on with that puck. And now goes again to Kyle Connor. And it just lost that puck. Oh, this was a little battle out there in the center ice. Well, in the wing in the center zone of the slot. Shai Kelly now finds Schmidt. Off to Baroon. Baron passes it over. Is blocked away. Johnson now trying to take it over to back to Drone. Here's Maurice. Maroon with the puck now trying to clean the puck out of here with a new line change. An icing whistled on Winnipeg. The win for Colorado. Here's my ram shot. Big block was stopped by Hellebeck. Perfetti trying to control the puck movement and the body language. Perfetti trying to hold off to Nemstikov. Nemstikov out to Baroon and now PSPF. Shoots! Save! Off again by Georgia. Paul pleases on as Morrissey will have to regroup it out. Baroon trying to exit in and now back in the center. Baroon can't hold on. Here's Colin. Slammed down on a board. Morrissey. And one will have it. 5 3 left to go in the third period as Wood is trying to give off to Cohen. He went down. Echtergam says, No, no, I'm taking it over. Well, there's aggression out there. I don't know what is keeping them so long, but they are not really trying to like let them slow it down at that all. They want to make some crashing. Looks like McKinnon will have to try to give it to somebody else. Shot stopped by Gullivan. Here in a five minute mark of the period, 4 2 score. It looks like we have a winner. Over to you, Wood Spoon. Connor Hollebuck has been doing amazing, doing his dialed in performances. The batter is saving is the timing right. He's been doing excellent. All that courtesy does have it all. He's been doing really well. Ellers, oh, that broken up the play by Kale McCarr. He's, he's trying to show him, I'm going to get some revenge out there. You ready or not? I'm going to take that over. Here's Branson and shoots, blocked up. McKenna shoots it and saved by Hillbuck. 
And now here's Shai Feli will now have it over to Gede Velarde. Velarde entering the cap. Avalanche territory. Here's Connor. Shoot. Save by Kijiogian. McKenna now finds again the toes and toes down over it again to Rantanen. Brendan fires the puck out of the net. And Schmidt will have it. Under four minutes left to remain in the third period of regulation. Shai Feli trying to head it over. Now back to Velarde. Toes grabs that puck. The Avs are back into the zone, get some more offensive recovery. One shot, saved by Hellebuck. And Velarde, oh, big hit on a play! Two men going after him! And this one's broken on the chain. Now that is nowhere how that happened, but that is what they slammed across. That's when you hit with somebody, that's gonna cause them a mess up pain. O'Connor! Not the time for Hellebuck. He makes a dial thing to make a save. Yeah, I think what happened to Ella is he looks like he had that one pinching in, but I'm thinking this may have been a hard one to go with. We do have an attention right now as the Mellows in, in a medical room. I'll have Silver Wood Spoonie standing by. Thank you guys, I've been talking to Demetto already, and now with this veteran on his technique, he only has finishes for his first goal of the game in game six, but it just happened to be a hoping hitting for the chest, and this was not even intentional at all. It happened to be a clear one for tonight, but hopefully their team is happy enough to bring him to the next round to face against the next team in the America. And I'm hoping for that Demetto might be doing it all that he can. All right, thank you so much, Wood Spoonie. We hope everything is okay, and also DeMello with a speedy recovery. After Giorgi with a save with under 2-3 to go, still at 4-2. And now for the face-off coming in. The win puts up for Colorado. Manson finding Johansson. Give up to Manson again to Gerard. Try to slide it across back to Appleton. Harris has got the puck back to Gerard. Finds a shot. Lowry denies that shot here. Just about two minutes left to remain in the final regulation period. And won't be enough to get there. Connor Hill looks good. Set things down. Ready for the faceoff. All fishers are getting set. Ready for the faceoff. So, a tight battle range, but it seemed like an avalanche might be losing their possession in the first round of the playoffs against the Jets for the first time. And the Jets will be moving on in the second round for the first time. In for another matchup in the semifinals. After an icing is called on Winnipeg, nearing the 92nd mark, 4 2. And off to do one again. This has been a battle take already. One for Avalanche at home, and now the Jets are going to decide that. They make that win and hold it here. And Sandberg will have it again to Shai Feli again to Schmid. Players around the net. I follow with the puck. Sorry, Villardi. Who's that one this time? Kyle Connor didn't seem like where the puck is. Man advantage is on. Oh, a shot. Big save by Hillebuck. Schmidt will try to clear the puck out with one minute to go. Keeps the puck out. Kyle Connor will clear the puck out of here. Icing's called on Winnipeg. 51 seconds. They need to get the close game in. And now they're ready. The Jets Nation are putting up at the show to put a fusion and looking for another chance to get this one back in. McKinnon finds it over the toe, shoots it, blocked. Hellebuck will try to give over to Smith and clears the puck out. And Icy's called on Winnipeg again with under 30 seconds. You know the fans are loving it, we're moving on. Next face-off coming in between the Jets and the Avalanche. The win puts up, shots blocked. Lacrimane can't hold on. And Schmidt will clear the puck out. Racing after it now. And McCarr will do his last possession. O'Connor back to McKinnon. And it's broken up the play. Last seconds left. 
shoots and saves! Hell, a buck on a star! A big night ever! No, that changed now. Hella Buck just made a great save. He just made a clearly a great look to feed it off. And new team, we're ready for the second round. Last face-off possession between the two. And away we'll put up a Bianc, and that will do it. Chuts are moving on the second round. Big win and good night. Excellent effort to take over because now, no more avalanche. They are not going to the second round, only to make it to the finals two times in the postseason. But gladly enough, Hellebuck is ready to put the show on the second. He also looked to the fans. We can't agree with them without more compliment. We've also enjoyed it too, and this is excellent to bring on with the passion of our lifetime. Well, that's going to do it here for today. Paintbrush along with Bo Giant, so it's been along with Woods Mary. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody. All right, guys, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. Third star is Dylan DeMello with one goal and two hits. Only have a tank to take feet. And this one turned to be a goal, one time effort. Then the second star player goes to Alexander Georgia with 60 saves of a night. He just made this one a great play, but his team always bring on for a new season. And Hellebuck was your first star player in the game with 50 saves in a row. He's incredible. Now it's time to have a look at the total statistics. 64 over 52 is a total shots on goal. 82 over 47 gets for Colorado. 11-14 over 4.34 for Winnipeg. And it was 90% over 73% for Colorado. 33 over 21 for Colorado. And it was seven minutes between those two of Winnipeg and Colorado. No power play goals, only two minutes in the power play minutes. And that is it. Avalanche eliminated in the, in the playoff session. In the first round, and the Avalanche will have their new chance to come back in for a new season. And as we're being right now, the next matchup as the Bucks seeing the face Hellebuck is ready to face on against another opponent team, the Dallas Stars from Jake Ottinger, Joe Pavelski, and many more in Dallas. So they're heading, they're heading over to the trip for the second round, and they'll be seeing what they can do to have them fight back. And as of right now, we'll be back soon for the final game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. If you're tuning with us in here, we'll stick you around for a 10-30 game for the Golden Knights against the Oilers. And as we're being right now, peace out folks for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This is Son of Beast and Terry Crews signing out. Have a great day, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.